Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into a heated topic that's been causing a stir in the world of hip hop and beyond. Dr. Dre, the legendary producer and hip hop icon, has some strong words for the Olympic breakdancing competition, and he's not alone. Let's break down what went down, why Dre is upset, and the reactions that followed. So 2024 marks the first time breakdancing, a core element of hip hop culture, was featured in the Olympics. This should have been a huge celebration of the art form, but instead, it got overshadowed by the bizarre performance of Australia's Rachel Ray Gun Gun. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Dre didn't hold back. He said, I did not like that. It's so many great break dancers that I don't know why they had this particular person doing that. I'm really good at all. break dancing? No, 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 no. By the way, I did not like that. That was I don't wild. know. It's right. so many great break dancers, and I don't know why they had this particular person doing that. That was it was funny. It was funny. I got some laughs out of it, but what the? F I could agree. There's a <laughs> lot of people that I think around the way that could have watched that and said, "Okay, I got four years to get this together and could really do some damage if break dancing would come back." Four years. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like I, I mean. There are incredible, there are incredible break dances out right now. I don't know how that happened. He admitted it was funny and got some laughs, but overall, he was baffled and disappointed. Dre couldn't understand how someone like Gunn ended up representing breakdancing on such a global stage. Now, let's talk about Ray Gunn's performance itself. It's safe to say it went viral, but not for the reasons you might hope. Instead of showcasing traditional breakdancing moves, Ray Gunn opted for a more unconventional approach. She flopped, rolled around, and didn't score a single point. People online compared her moves to everything from Peter Griffin in Family Guy to the Grinch creeping around. Even hip hop producer Pete Rock chimed in, joking about her bunny hop kangaroo moves. Ray Gunn later defended herself, saying she wanted to do something new, different, and creative. She even admitted that she was never going to beat the other girls with dynamic power moves, so she tried to stand out artistically. But not everyone saw Ray Gunn's performance as artistic. In fact, many in the hip hop community felt it was an insult to the art form. R&B singer India Airy took to Instagram, expressing her frustration. She called it a poorly executed excuse for the art and pointed out that breakdancing, created by young black and brown people in the Bronx, deserved better representation. Her comments reflect a broader concern that Ray Gunn's performance not only missed the mark, but also disrespected the roots and significance of breakdancing. In the end, Japan's Ami Yuasa and Canada's Phil Wizard took home the gold in women's and men's breakdancing respectively, truly representing the skill and dedication that the sport requires. But Dre's criticism and the backlash against Ray Gunn's performance highlight the importance of staying true to the roots of any cultural art form, especially when it's being showcased on such a massive stage like the Olympics. What do you think? Was Ray Gunn's performance a creative expression or a misstep? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup. See you next time.